This is your NPA. This is a nasopharyngeal airway. Uh, this is an airway that's used to support the airway by keeping the tongue off the back of the throat. This airway would be used on your patient who were, was perhaps unresponsive, uh, who retained a gag reflex, or it would be a person who maybe was responsive to pain. Uh, who also had a gag reflex. There are some contraindications to this airway, a reason not to use the airway, and one of those contraindications would be trauma across the mid-face, known as mid-face trauma. Could also be um, a basal or skull fracture, which is a fracture at the base of the skull. Uh, the clinical indicators of a basal or skull fracture would be clear fluid leaking from the ears or the nose, or since it's trauma, it may also be blood leaking from the ears and, or from the nose. A delayed sign of a basilar skull fracture would be bruising around the eyes or periorbital ecchymosis, which would be commonly referred to as raccoon eyes, or bruising over the mastoid, uh, which would be referred to as battle sign. Now these NPAs come in various sizes. Uh, this size actually sort of fits this mannequin. However, when you measure them, there are two measurements. One measurement is from the tip of the nose to the earlobe or the angle of the jaw. Also, you have to measure the diameter of the airway because it has to fit into the nair. So when you measure the NPA, it's from the tip of the nose to the earlobe or from the tip of the nose to the angle of the jaw. Then you're looking at the airway itself. You'll notice that there's an opening in the airway at the distal end. And it's, if you could see it, it's cut on an angle, which is called a bevel. So when this airway is inserted, it's inserted with the bevel facing the septum, which is the divider between both of the nares. Now, this airway is meant to go on into the right nair, so I would lubricate it prior to inserting it with a water-soluble lubricant like this. So I'm going to lubricate this airway because it's going into a mucous membrane. It just aids in the ease of insertion. We don't use a petroleum-based product like a Vaseline-based product because of the fact that we're using it normally in, in conjunction with oxygen and it can uh, support combustion. So you'll see I'm putting this airway in with the bevel facing the septum. It really is made for the right nair because you'll notice that the curve um, follows the curve of the nasal pharynx. So it, in this mannequin, it goes in quite easily. Not all of the time does it go in that easily. So if I had to insert it into the other nair, I would remove it. I would uh, re-lubricate it. And then I would insert it, and you'll notice that the curve no longer approximates the curve of the nasal pharynx. So on a patient, when it met resistance, you would just rotate it and then drop it in. And the flange will, should rest right on the nair.